Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 400 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are trying to get Elite Magma Demon in Season Sob 2. And as you guys already know, every single new season, Behemoths are getting stronger and stronger. And in general, Elite Magma Demon or in general, magma demon is like second strongest behemoth in the whole game uh, before like dragons in general so i think this fight should be really interesting for everybody to understand all the mechanics and all the tricks which is needed to uh, capture not only elite one and also the uh, normal behemoths right in this case you have to have at least six tanks uh, you have to be uh, like spread divided into four uh, groups every single group sh should have one main tank and one substitute tank right substitute tanks are necessary simply because you need to be moving around uh, with your main tank and that's the main idea behind the magma demon capture right if, and also you have to defeat every single demon at the same time if you are not going to do that it means that you are going to fail in this demon because the demons will heal up and it will be impossible for you to deal damage to them that's the main idea behind the elite magma demon capture mechanics uh, if you will just follow your main group leader which is mainly a tank then I think everybody should be fine and also you have to try to not die in this in this fight right if your health is low it's much better to go into the middle rather than dying and giving the like demons to the ability to heal themselves also it is really important to f always follow your main group tank because he knows or she knows when it's necessary to move and when it's necessary to stay behind right also so in like as the same in any kind of behemoth battles healing wards are the most important thing which which will allow you to have all the time full health so if you are on your corner dealing damage to your prioritized behemoths try to always get the healing ward because even if you are like almost dying healing ward has so much power that it can heal you up to full right and let's try let's see how well we're gonna perform last time we were very very close we defeated two demons but the other two demons healed so much that it was almost impossible for us to defeat it right and nobody should forget that at some point uh, every single behemoth is enraging and enraging means that uh, behemoths will will just simply one shot everybody who will touch it so you have to have in, in your mind the timer uh, when you have to kill the behemoths if you, the timer will really run out you will see one minute timer and if you don't defeat the demon in that one minute timer then i'm sorry uh, behemoths will simply enrage and it will be impossible for you to defeat the uh, magma demon or in general any demon in this game right in any behemoth in this game so far i think we are doing absolutely fine but only one behemoth one demon has three million power three million hp and in general if we're gonna simply compare the elite ones and the normal ones elite ones has like lot more hp lot more defense defense lot more attack so it's like more 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 powerful than normal one so far i think we are doing amazingly um that's important for us to take this healing ward because my hp is getting lower and lower and as soon as we're gonna take it you can see how much healing you are getting you are basically getting to full health uh, and that's the most important in any kind of fight in this behemoth right so far what's most important also is that we have not even lost a single single legion we started with 58 legions around the behemoth and every single member who are inside the layer has the full amount of uh, troops which is really important right 
of course if you are playing call of dragons as i have mentioned before um any gameplay which is uh, which is required to have your alliance member is important because call of dragons is not single player game call of dragons is a team game and every activity which is giving you the team play and the team gameplay is really important right one of the team uh, activities is of course raid bosses behemoths also there is um, wars and i think behemoths capturing and wars in this game is the best i have ever seen in any kingdom builder game right now it's our time to take the healing ward because we are having the low amount of hp on our legions and somebody just misclicked it i guess and uh, i i hope it will we will have enough time yeah it was really really close my legion almost died and yeah that was actually really really close uh, i think it will be much better for me to play cautious because um it's much better for you to survive in this kind of behemoth battle rather than dealing damage because um having less amount of troops on the battlefield will allow the uh, demons to heal more right and uh, as i have mentioned before if you are close to dying it's even much if even better to stay in the middle section and to just help your alliance members uh, to defeat the demons right we already captured two of them only two is left and in order for me to not let behemoth heal himself it will be much better for me if i will just stay in the middle and not try to kill my legion right as you can see guys behemoths are trying to heal themselves which is the worst ability i think any behemoths have in this game i hate any kind of healing in this game whenever you are fighting against elite behemoths in general but so far i think as soon as we're gonna kill the left one we're gonna have only one left which is top one and i hope we will be able to defeat the top behemoths i will try my best to heal now i'm not sure if everybody will click on the healing word but yeah i guess finally i was managed to heal myself right now only one um, demon is left that's the top one which is uh, having like 1 million hp i'm rushing in order to heal myself even more so yeah i think elite one elite magma demon will be captured in this video and i'm really really happy because past the elite behemoths which i was trying to record was just simply attempts it was not captured and i think finally i'm able to participate and able to show you guys how you can generally defeat elite behemoths and uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, optimistic that we're gonna do it right now you guys saw it i was here and i'm really really happy about it right um I'm, i should thank my alliance members who tried their best in order to defeat the elite uh, magma demon because without tier 5 players it will be really really hard right yeah i was i did not have a high amount of dps because whenever i had low amount of hp i preferred myself to just stay alive rather than dying so now just rewind what's the most important mechanics you need to follow right here here you can see there is four magmas for every single magma you need to have a group for every single group you need to have one tank so let's imagine you have four tanks uh, in the in front of every single magma and desired dps you should have archers and mages and in the middle you have to have at least four or maybe even two tanks uh, simply because if your main tank is getting a high amount of damage and you have a low hp HP on your main tank main tank can go to the middle and the full health tank which was fk waiting just in case that tank would die would substitute the main tank that's the main idea about positioning now in order of in in terms of mechanics uh, whenever you are fighting you should you have to maneuver in the clockwise right whenever your main tank will go to the top side and you you stayed on the left you have to follow your main tank uh, simply because in this case everybody will be able to heal themselves and everybody will be able to remove the debuff which is magmas are throwing at you that's the main idea also it will be much much better if you will just simply stay alive in this elite magma demon behemoth capture 
because staying alive in this fight is much more important than dealing damage let's not try to be the heroes let's not try to be the best damage dealers because especially if you are tier 4 player it will be impossible for you to be able to be like number 1 or even top 5 in terms of damage in this behemoth uh, and also we need to mention that this magmas are giving great amount of buffs counter attack damage deals three percent and legion march speed five percent i need to mention one more time this elite magma demon was captured in season sub 2 and as i have mentioned before in every single season whenever you are progressing through season to season behemoths are getting stronger and stronger especially elite behemoths right and trust me this fight is not easy if you don't know the mechanics try to watch this video maybe you prefer any other videos which will explain the mechanics in a better way but in our case if you are dps bring archers or mages and also don't try to bring any flying units here don't try to bring any cavalry because it will be useless in terms of this fight i hope uh, i tried my best to explain this elite uh, magma uh, demon uh, behemoth in a most perfect way i hope everybody will be able able to capture it in the future maybe in season sub 2 maybe in the past seasons and of course my alliance still hell uh, still hell pirates we are trying our best to capture almost every single behemoth normal ones elite ones some of them we managed to do it some of them we couldn't do it but it's a part of the game um, i think uh, call of dragons is especially fun and especially great whenever you are playing with your friends whenever you are playing with your alliance members because this game is not single player game this game is team team game right now it's time for us to have some war to have some fun i hope you guys enjoyed this um, small video about capturing elite magma demon and i hope everybody will do it by themselves uh, if you like the video as always press like subscribe share it always gives me uh, more and more motivation to make more videos about this amazing game i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck